The start of the season here at Manchester United has not gone to plan. We lost three of our first four Premier League games, but we did end up getting one win at the end of the last episode, and we've had quite a lot of help from the signings that we made in the summer transfer window. But sitting down in 13th place means that we are not looking good in the eyes of the board. And if we don't turn things around quickly, we could get sacked before we even get halfway through the season. And today's episode doesn't start out too easy for us as our first game is in the Champions League group stage against Bayern Munich. But after that, hopefully the episode will be a little bit easier. We're going to have Burnley away after that, Sheffield United in the Carabao Cup, Crystal Palace at home in the league, and then Galatas right around out the episode. So far, we haven't really seen any one player step up more than any of the others. I mean, Bruno Fernandes is having a pretty good start to the year, and Rice Holland is having a decent start, but nobody else is really performing that well. Jean-Claire Todibo has only played two games. One of those was in a, a substitute appearance, but in the game that he played the full 90, he looked really good. So we're going to continue to move forward with him as our starting right center back more than likely. But for this game here against Bayern Munich, we might start Rafael Varane instead. We're going to go ahead and get into this game early on in this episode here against Bayern Munich. We already know what kind of team they have. I mean, it's absolutely incredible. DeLitt is a player that we thought about bringing in, but it just didn't really work out and make sense for us in the summer transfer window. So maybe in the future we will. But of course, with Harry Kane up top, he's a player that is very familiar against playing with playing against Manchester United. We're going to go with this team. Hoyland's going to be up top. We're going to keep Maynou in uh, the defensive midfield position, even though he's a little bit tired. And we are going to start Varane instead of Tadebo, just because he does have that Champions League experience. Wambasaka inside to Paulinha. Paulinha to Maynou. Maynou, wow, good tackle. I don't know who that was, but Harry Kane's off with it, and they could be on a break. Komen finds a great pass out here to Leroy Sané, who's got a lot of pace, and Onana is able to make that save. Wow. I mean, it's just it's just too easy sometimes for the opposition. Bayern Munich find a pass inside to Limer in the middle of the box. I think, I think it was Leroy Sané to Komen and then to Limer. I mean, it's just it, terrible defending, really. And Cal inside to Dallo making a run. Hoyland, we're going to go... Ooh, I was going to look to go over the top to Juan Bissaka. Limer going in for a challenge. Doesn't look like the referee is going to give him any type of disciplinary action for that foul. We do have Bruno Fernandez here. I mean, we could go for a shot. I feel like it's a little bit too far away. So we're just going to lay it off here to the left if we can. And that's not really who I was going for. But it looks like we're going to end up with it. Hello, inside to Paulinha. Paulinha to Hoyland. Hoyland. Rashford. One more pass. And Trincao sends it wide. Masraoui down this right side. Finds a pass inside to Kane. Back to Masraoui. Maynou with a good interception. Bruno Fernandez. Good pass to Trincao. Find Hoyland, very slow turn, and he was off sides. I guess we'll have to go with it, but let's take, I mean, look at this. It's going to be, yeah, his toe was off sides. And as to Paulinha, Paulinha, we're going to have Juan Basaka down here. We're going to try to get a ball down to Rashford, who quit his run, but he's going to end up with it. Hoyland now with it. And Limer, able to get in the way of it. Acuna now in the box. Varane. Gets on the back side of Acuna for some reason and did not want to go for the tackle. Luckily, that shot hit the side netting. Oh, Paulinho with a great interception. Hoyland is going to find Bruno, and Bruno will slot it into that bottom left corner. 1-1, Bayern Munich and Manchester United after 36 minutes. Uziala pushing forward, getting a shot away, and Onana is going to have to make that save. It's terrifying coming up against a team like this. Teams like Arsenal, Man City, Bayern, PSG... Real Madrid, Barcelona. If we ever come up against teams like that, it's it's just going to be terrifying to play against them. We do well on the corner, but they still have possession. And Coleman is now breaking down this wing. We're out of position with a lot of players, but we do well to hold them at bay momentarily. Coleman eventually finds Kimmich on the edge of the box. Musiala now with it. Finds a pass to Kane. Oh, Nana makes the save. Swinging in the corner. Wambasaka gets in front of that one well, but they're still going to end up with it. Musiala on the edge of the box. Limer now with it into Kane again. Kane to Musiala. We just can't get it away. And they're all over us. Kane going for a worldie and Onana making another save. Unfortunately, he did not catch it, though. And that means yet another corner for Bayern Munich. Ah, man, we're just having a rough one. But Onana will come out and collect this one. Moment into Kane. Kane into Sané. And Sané with the goal. It just happens so quick sometimes here on Ultimate Difficulty that you just can't even, you can't blink. You can't lose focus for even half a second. And even if you don't, it doesn't really matter sometimes. Because like there, not much I can do about that one. Great finish by Sané. 
We'll go ahead and get a three-man sub on McTominay coming on for Manu. Datlow coming off. We're going to replace him with Tadebo momentarily. Oh, and then we we're going to get Diallo on for Trincao. Sané again down this right side. Gets around Juan Bissaka. Oh, gets around Martinez. Onana makes another good save. Onana's been pr impressing me so far in this career mode. He's made some pretty good saves, especially in this game. Diallo, going to head that one down to Hoyland. We'll get it away. Adibo tracking back well and getting that ball off of Komen. We still have a little bit of time to move forward. but I mean, we just haven't been playing well enough. And Hoyland's going to try to go over the top and do too much. McTominay with a great tackle. Rashford into McTominay. Rashford's going to continue his run, and Bruno Fernandez finds him with a great ball. But he can't bring it down. And Sané breaking down the wing yet again. And Onana, as soon as I start praising him, gives up a goal to his near post, just like he did in the last episode against Arsenal, and we are now down 3-1. to one. Varane going in for a sliding challenge. Sané has been the player that has, I mean, terrorized us most in this game. We just cannot get the ball off of him. And I believe that's going to be a foul. Doesn't look like it. Referee won't blow for it. Doesn't matter anyways. We're going to take the L in this game. First game in the Champions League group stage. 3-1 to Bayern. And like I said earlier, hopefully the rest of the episode will be a little bit easier. I mean, the, the two Premier League games, the Carabao Cup game, should be maybe a little bit easier. And then the Champions League game is still going to be tough. Galatasaray are definitely still a very solid opponent. But hopefully we will get a win against them. We really need it to maintain our spot in the Champions League for now. This is an away game against Burnley, so it should be maybe a little bit tougher than we think it's going to. They're on four points, just like we are through five games in this season. So... We really need a win here because if somehow they win, we are going to be in a very, very tough spot. We're going to go with this lineup. Rashford's still starting on the left. McTominay in midfield now instead of Maynou. Malassi at left back and Tadebo at the right center back position. Let's get to it. Hoyland out here to Trincao. We're going to look back inside for Hoyland. We're going to take an early shot. Hoyland passes it back to Fernandez off the deflection and a great save by the goalie. Oh, great pass inside. Fofana is going to go ahead and take a shot. Onana is going to make the save. I don't like what I'm seeing so far in this game. Ten minutes gone. But we are going to be able to get this corner away. Malasia pushing forward down this wing. Nobody actually stepping in front of him just yet. Going to find a pass to Bruno. Bruno with a good touch. Another good save by the keeper, though. We will look to swing this towards the back post. Todibo is able to get to that one, but not able to find his second goal for the club. Rashford to Hoyland. Hoyland with a good pass to Bruno. Bruno with a great pass to Rashford. <laughs> Oh, uh, we can't we can't score right now. Oh, Fafana with a good move around to Debo. Another good move, and I am tired of us giving up goals like that. 23 minutes gone. 1-0 lead for Burnley. Frank out pushing forward. Looks like we might have Bruno through here. What is the defense doing? Bruno trying to get it to the right side of the keeper, and he, we will. That's 1-1 here after 28 minutes. There's no reason we should be in this position, but we gotta fight our way out of it now. What a ball inside. Koleosho now with it. Oh, boys. Boys, boys, boys. This team this team is frustrating. Dallow pushing forward. Going to find Hoyland. Hoyland going to find Bruno. Bruno going to look back for Rashford, and Rashford will finish that off. That's a beautiful goal. 2-2. We're still in position to win this game, potentially, but it's going to be tough. Palacio with a great pass to Hoyland early on in the second half. Great pass to Fernandez, and we will take the lead for the first time this episode. 3-2 over Burnley, of all teams, so a team that we definitely should be beating, but we're on the way. Good pass down here to Goodmanson. We've got to defend the baseline or the touchline because that is where Onana has been weakest. We've also got to defend just the box in general. They get a shot away, Onana with a good save. And another corner being swung in. Tadebo up, time, up for this one this time. But it clears it only as far as Redmond. They're going to find another pass inside. And Dallow's going to be able to do well. Dallow inside to Trincao. Over here to Rashford. Rashford, with some room to shoot, is deflected away. We're going to find Bruno. McTominay from the edge of the box. I don't mind it. Oh, I thought we scored. Oh, yeah. They definitely are. I'm doing it now. Makes a move to get around Branthwaite. <sighs> Boys. <laughs> Boys, boys, boys. This is this is tough. There are a few minutes of added time. Bruno knocks that one down to Sancho. We're going to get it back to Bruno. And look over the top again for Sancho. So we do have time to move forward. There's just no one up here with us. Barnacho inside to McTominay. 
McTominay with the shot. He's done that a few times in real life this season, but unfortunately not able to do it there. We will have one more opportunity from this corner. McTominay. McTominay is there. That is why I decided to keep him in this team. And he will give us the 4-3 win over, you know, a pretty terrible Burnley side. But nonetheless, we will get the win. So that means that we've already seen Bruno Fernandez step up. We've seen McTominay step up in that game. Some other players are doing okay. Garnacho uh, hasn't gotten a lot of opportunity, but Hoyland has gotten some pretty decent opportunities and is showing out. So we're going to keep moving him up in the striker position and uh, continue starting him in that striker position. But we're looking to see if anybody else will step up to the plate and help this team where, when we need them to most because we definitely need them to. That will lead us into our next game against Sheffield United, but it is a Carabao Cup game, so we will try to get some rotation in the squad. For this game against Sheffield, this will be their lineup, but I think we're going to go with a very heavily rotated lineup in ours. We're going to keep starting Hoyland up top. We don't actually have a true backup striker besides Marcus Rashford, so that's kind of a predicament that we're in right now. So we're going to have to address that in the January transfer window, but as you can see here, a lot of players that are rotated, so let's go ahead and get into this one. We probably won't show too many highlights from this game, but we'll show some. Hoyland out here to Wambasaka. Wambasaka lifting it up. Mason Mount sending it way over. All right, so we're here at the end of the first half. Not much happening. I mean, we've had five chances. They've had zero, but we are not... We're not even close to scoring at this point. Manu down to Hoyland. Hoyland, not a great turn, really, but a good shot on goal. Ooh, Mount with a good turn, though. And he'll find Hoyland and another good save. Ooh, Mason Mount. Good ball over the top to Diallo. Hoyland <laughs> sends it right at the keeper yet again. He cannot find the corners of the goal. He can only find the middle of it. We're going to send this cross in, though, and Harry Maguire gets to it. Not a bad effort. Sancho breaking away. We just brought him on just a second ago, and he will find a way to get around the defense and score. They had a corner, and we found a way to break down the field with a counterattack. 72 minutes gone, a 1-0 lead. No shot. We're giving away a penalty to Sheffield United. Sophie and Emma back going in for a tackle in the box. I mean, for whatever reason, there's just no reason for him to do that. Stepping up. He's going to go bottom right. He went top right, and the keeper didn't hardly move, so it's 1-1. They knew down to Garnacho. Garnacho with a good turn. We're going to have to go back. Branthwaite into Maynou. We'll get it out here to Sancho yet again. Maynou's going to end up with it. Oh, and Kabi Maynou finally able to take the shot. 83 minutes gone. The youngster gives this the lead yet again in the Carabao Cup. Oh, Abel Ruiz with a pass of Barrett and Diaz. He takes a bad touch. They get a shot away. Landier finds a way to make the save. 91 minutes gone. Only three minutes of added time. They brought up the keeper, which means we are going to get someone out on a break if we can. Juan Basaka hits it away momentarily. Can McGuire get to it? He can. We clear it at least away a little bit. We're not going to be able to score on the keeper. And it looks like there was a handball as well. So we win the free kick. We're going to win the game here. We just have to hold on for a few more seconds. And that is a win. 2-1 over Sheffield United. Not a pretty win at all, but a win is a win. And with our next match in only three days again against Crystal Palace, we have changed the training plans to where we are fully focused on getting our players fully energized. So... Before this game, we should have plenty of players available for the for the actual game itself. And that means we will have our full starting 11 for our game against Crystal Palace. I'll show you their lineup once we get into the game. They're going to be starting Mateta up top with Eze and Alicia behind him. They're running like a 3-4-2-1 formation kind of with Warden and Decore in midfield. Their lineup before this was all out of whack, so I had to go in and actually change it manually myself. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and get into this game. And Cal bringing the defense in. He's going to find a pass out here to Dallow. Dallow is going to get fouled. We'll look back inside for Trent Cal. And that's just not the pass I'm looking for. I mean, what is going on? Maynou pushing forward well. Sticking with it. Going to find a pass inside to Hoyland. We will find Rashford. And Rashford will finish it off. 21 minutes gone. We take the first goal of the game. The first lead of the game. And hopefully we don't have to give up. We don't have to score anymore. We can just give up no goals and we'll win. But I would like to score some more. Wow. is skipping past Dallow, making all the moves he possibly can to get around him. And he's still going for all the moves. I just cannot stay in front of him. Yeah, that didn't that didn't take long, did it? 1-1, Crystal Palace and Manchester United after 28 minutes. 
Bruno over the top. Rashford. Oh, good attempt. Henderson with a great save, though. Rashford with a good pass to Hoyland. I didn't think we were going to be able to get through, but it was a great turn. Bruno Fernandez is going to end up with it. Oh, and what a deflection by Anderson to disallow or to not allow us to score our second goal of the game and take the lead yet again. Bruno is going to cross it inside. Varane gets to it. And over the bar it goes. Alenia holding off a defender. Bruno, I see Rashford all the way over here. Needed to take that shot on his right foot. I didn't think it would go well with his left, but right didn't work out either. We're going to send this cross in. Not a bad effort. Can Martinez get to that? No, he can't. Last line of defense, Kabi Mainu, but now they could be on a counter. Now Eze breaking forward, finding a pass to Mateta. Nearly a penalty, but we don't give one away just yet. Gallo making a move forward. Oh, Bruno nearly found a pass inside to Hoyland. Hoyland ends up with it. <laughs> Munoz finding a pass inside to Eze. Eze into Elise. Yeah, I mean, it's inevitable. There's just nothing we can do. The defenders are asleep there. And, uh, yeah, Martinez not able to get a tackle in. Varane just kind of standing there, not guarding anybody. It's 2-1 Crystal Palace after 72 minutes. And so we'll go ahead and get some subs on. Malasia, Hoyland, and Maynou coming off for Wamba Saka, Garnacho, and McTominay. Hopefully they'll make a difference. We've seen them make a difference before. Uh, they already have a corner here. They're swinging it in. And Onana is having to make a save on it. So they're going to have another one. Looks like they will be swinging this one in as well. Wambasaka in front of it. Onana is actually going to be able to collect. And now they have a free kick right on the edge of the D. Eze and Elise is stepping up to take it. You have got to be kidding me. We cannot catch a break. Early on in this Premier League season, things are just not going our way. Ebrichi Eze with a free kick of dreams. I mean, we know how good he can be on those free kicks. And, I mean... This is as good as it gets. Wambasaka couldn't even jump high enough to clear it away. And you can't even really tell from... I mean, what, what kind of replay is that? You can't even really tell from that angle, but it's a worldie. And we're going to lose. Can they make it four? No, they can't. Not yet, at least. They will have a corner here. 93 minutes are gone now. Three minutes of added time. So the game is basically over uh, at this point. But they could still find a fourth, I guess. We're going to try to prevent that from happening, of course. And Cow does well to get in a tackle. We'll clear it away. And that will be that. The referee will blow the whistle. So uh, three points dropped. And that will take us into the final game of the episode, a Champions League matchup against Galatasaray. We really need, uh, you know, to pick up the morale on this team. I mean, the morale is actually pretty decent. Surprisingly, everyone's like kind of happy. Not sure why, because we're not performing well. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Premier League standings just before we uh get into this champions league game we're currently bottom of the group in the champions league as well so things are just not going well in any capacity currently sitting 14th in the prem four losses out of seven games and we've already given up 16 goals which is tied for the most in the league with burnley and so like i said that'll lead us into the final game of the episode not going to be an easy one though zaha icardi ziech Torreira in midfield with mertens as well i mean <laughs> they've got a really good team a lot of former premier league players in their side at Galatasaray. And then we're going to go with this lineup. Bernacho is going to start on the right. Trincao hasn't really started off too well for us, but I still believe in him. Uh, Tadebo in defense instead of Varane and Juan Basaka instead of Malasia as well. So that's the side we're going to go with. Hopefully we're going to see some changing in the in the win column. You know, I would love to see a win in this game to round off the episode. Oh, good tackle by Kabi Menu. We'll find Garnacho. Garnacho cannot find Bruno Fernandez. What is going on? Okay, so nine minutes into this game, already a hot start. I don't know even how I'm supposed to defend that, but whatever. We're on a break now, early on in this first half. Gallo looking for Hoyland. I, I'm just not gelling with Hoyland at all yet. He really, I mean, like, he's gotten some goal involvements, so I shouldn't harp on him too much, but as far as just general gameplay, he is very clunky as we almost score with him. We're no swinging it in. Not sure what that was from Paulinha, but we're sticking with it. Bruno now looking for a cross. Wow, there's so much room out here. Dallo, we're going to take the 1-0 lead. Bruno Fernandez finds the cross over to Diogo Dallo, and it's now 1-0 after 15 minutes. Zaha with it, finding a pass inside to Icardi, and then the back heel. It's always the back heel that'll get you. Zaha, luckily for us, 
does not convert, and Onana makes the save. We're going to swing that one in. Didn't love that from Onana, but he'll come and collect eventually. Rashford, or, yeah, Bruno inside to Rashford. Take too long on the ball, but Garnacho cannot convert that. I don't know. I, I thought it was going out for a corner there, but it looks like it's a goal kick. Oh, Juan Bissaka with a great tackle. Bruno Fernandez ends up with it. Marcus Rashford is going to go for the long shot. Should have passed it, probably. Rashford, oh, over the top. Rasmus Hoyland, 2-0 after 39 minutes. What a ball from Marcus Rashford and the connection to Hoyland. And the finish is crazy. I mean, what a ball this is. And then Hoyland, I mean, the balls. To basically not even look at it over his shoulder and just trust that it's going to be there. And puts it into the back of the net for the two-goal lead. Oh, good ball. Wow, Tudibo. He's been quite the defender for us so far. I think he might be taking over from uh, Rafael Varane in that right center back position. Paulinha looking to move forward. Having a hold up play momentarily. We'll find Garnacho. We'll look for Menu. We'll go for the power shot. Probably not a great idea, but that'll be the end of the first half anyways. 2-0 over Gal Galatasaray. Herrera back to Aurier. Aurier over here to Demir Bay. Looks like Menu might have picked up an injury at some point earlier trying to get in a tackle there Garnacho's actually going to get in an interception right there Hoyland hold up play well thank you very much Yogo Dallo now this could be crucial not exactly the pass I was looking for but we'll figure it out Manu gets that inside of Bruno Bruno to Hoyland back to Bruno that's three that's 65 minutes gone and that may be the win for us first win here in the Champions League group stage Bruno going to find another pass to Rashford. Back to Bruno. Oh, we had a chance to make it for Torreira with a good ball into Demir Bay. No one is over there. Tadibo, I guess, just fell asleep. So, Onana has to make the save. Luckily, he does. Menu didn't look like he was injured, so we didn't take him off earlier. We're going to be able to clear that out. Oh, McTominay gets absolutely taken out right there. Yellow card for Serge Aurier. And, uh, yeah, 80 minutes gone. This game's pretty much all but wrapped up. Hoyland. Ooh, interesting ball out here to Malasia. Ref, come on now. Yes, sir, we are going to be awarded the free kick. So we will go ahead and take it here with Bruno. I'm going to go ahead and go for goal. I mean, no real reason not to. Just got to get it up and over the wall. Three bars of power. Going to try to time it as well. And it goes over. Alinea inside to Dallo. Dallo, oh, that's a great pass to Sancho. We'll make it for just before the end of the game. 92 minutes gone. We bring on Sancho for Rashford, and he makes a difference. It'll be it'll be big for us for the goal difference at the end of the Champions League group stage, probably. So overall, the episode definitely wasn't too successful. A few losses, but, you know, that's just how it goes sometimes. We did end up getting our first Champions League win as the manager of Manchester United in the group stage. So that's at least one accomplishment we can say we got in this episode. We are down in 14th, though, in the Premier League, which isn't great. And then uh, in the Champions League, we should actually be in a pretty decent spot. We're in second place after two games, so we just got to keep going. Uh, we're in the right direction in that competition as of right now. So uh, in the next episode, we'll have Brentford, some more Manchester or Manchester City. We'll have some more Premier League games, UCL games. Uh, we've got a Carabao Cup game against Gillingham as well, which might be played or might be simulated. We'll have to see. But then we'll already be in November, so... Uh, please be sure to like the video. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Please be sure to leave your comments about how you feel about the career mode, players you want us to bring in in the January window. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.